Hey, this is Barry and Holly of the WQSP Morning Show. Thank you for listening to our podcast, and we want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Allen's Lock and Key is there when you need them most, no matter the circumstance. They offer commercial, residential, and up to 95% of automotive vehicles for locksmith and key services. A veteran-owned company founded on Christian values. They can travel and serve or need it. You can swing by 2215 West Megan Boulevard in Gadsden or take advantage of their mobile service. When you need them, give them a call. 256-547-8100. That's Allen's Lock and Key. 256-547-8100. No matter the animal, your pet is a member of your family and they should be treated as such. With the IP Hour Pet Resort Groom and Board, your pet will have a restful and safe boarding experience with indoor and outdoor area. Let our professionals pamper your pet with our grooming services to make them look their very best and make them feel right at home. Located on Alabama Highway 75 in Horton, it's always Yappy Hour, open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 4.30. Yappy Hour Pet Resort Groom and Board, 256-458-4650. God, what a glorious day! It's time to rise and shine and get your morning started with Alabama's award-winning morning show. I got this feeling... Inside my bones. Broadcasting live from high atop Alabama's beautiful sand mountain. How do you crazy nuts, you? Off to my city, off to my home. Please welcome your hosts, Barry. I like it. I like it. We like it. He's seriously crazy. You know that. You pooped in the refrigerator and you ate the whole wheel of cheese? Actually, I'm not even mad. It's amazing. I got that. And Holly. Peanut butter. You want to know something weird I do with peanut butter? I like to put it with two pieces of bread and jelly. Well, that's not weird. But I put the bread in the middle. Yeah, she does. I've seen her. No. Yes. I do and not. It's grape smuckers, too. I do like grape jelly. Uh, is that your favorite go to jelly? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, at 6 08, man, is a beautiful morning or what? It is. Uh, yeah. I love the way the sun's up already. It's coming up. It's going to be a sunny day. 87. You know that some areas may hit 90. That's concerning because I have a dance competition this weekend. It's not me dancing. No. But the the air is out oh. at the Bevel Center. No. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. They have one ahead and warned us. Dress yeah. appropriately. Oh. If you feel like you're gonna pass out, there's air in the lobby. Wow. It's it's intense. Hmm. And so I'm a little nervous. I'm a nervous for the kids dancing. So your daughter's dancing. Yeah. Harlow. Yep. Oh, yeah. You showed me a video. She's very good. She's good. She's very good. She does a good job. So does she take after you? No. You're not a dancer? Nope. No. Mm-mm. I'm picturing you as a dancer. Well, she did cheer, and she did really good in cheer with yeah. the dances. Okay. And so cheer ended, and we thought, she wants to do something. What should we do? She's not a big sport like contact sport. Sure person so we put her in dance and the only dance class they had left all they were all full but it was jazz fusion hmm. and i thought oh this is gonna be so lame like yeah. jazz fusion yeah, that's She's a video so it's very good it's good very yeah good. i was really impressed we had parent night last night oh, okay. we got to see her she did good so saturday is a big show Saturday is the big show. Well, it's going to cool off some, and if it rains, it'll be even cooler. I hope so. And unfortunately, there's a good chance of rain off and on starting tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. It's not going to rain all day, all three days, but you're going to see probably rain a couple of times Mm -hmm. during the day at some point. So don't cancel any plans. Just, you know, be ready. If you're going to be outside like, uh, (coughs) excuse me, Saturday, I'll be at Sneed. Yeah. Hopefully, weather permitting, uh, baseball. You're inside, though, right? Yeah, but the players are outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm you're, good. You're I'm good. good. <laughs> yeah, but but anyway, the week, weekend, uh, there's a good chance of rain moving in. Today, though, near 90. Wow. Near 90 degrees today. Uh, well, I guess that I think they're down in Washington, you know, the uh, the House and the Senate and for the state, I think they voted to just cancel spring and move straight to summer. Oh. I think. I don't happened? know. I don't know officially, but that's what I think. Oh. 
I heard yeah. they were meeting. Yeah, they I are. didn't know that was on the agenda. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, because today's seriously close to 90 in some areas. God. Yeah. That's going to be a nice day, though. Enjoy it. We have, boy, we have a busy day. We have a, we have a, uh, I guess you say, a docket full of stuff. We have a whole stuff, a bunch of stuff. We have Secret Sound twice this morning. Mm-hmm. No winner yesterday on Sound 5, so it's up to $200. We'll be playing that first time at 710. Coming up in about 20, 25 minutes, giving away more movie tickets. You can join us to see Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes first. We're going to be showing it, uh, I guess it's a week from tonight. Yeah. A week from tonight at Lucas Cinemas in Albertville. So we have tickets for that. We have a Camp Chalaki, your chance to qualify your child for a one week overnight stay at Camp Chalaki. And we have spring carnival tickets. I think today's going to be good enough for the uh, carnival. Oh, yeah. Is today the first day? <clears throat> first day, day Ooh. one in Boaz. So we have tickets for that. So there's many ways to win. A lot of stuff going on. And before we go any further, got to do this. How do you know? Things you need to know. Thursday, May the 2nd. So what's going on on this day? Today is National Orange Juice Day. You like orange juice? I like orange juice, but it gives me heartburn. So me I have a love-hate. Do you like it, it with the, the pulp? Is they, or just pulp-free? I like the pulp. Yeah. Yeah. I like it because it's fresh. It's sweet. A, I don't a, know. Do you have a favorite kind of orange juice? Um. Well, it says Tropicana is the number one brand, and it says Minute Maid is number two. Yeah. What's the pure... The one that says, like, pure on it. Yeah, I mean, maybe one called pure. It may be. Anyway. There's a bunch, but I, I really can't taste the difference. I'm not. Uh, it's just orange juice. Some are more expensive than others. Yes. Are. I know. I know. And even yeah. the cheap kind's good with me. You do like orange better? Or you like apple, orange, grape, <sighs> grapefruit? You drink juice because you, like, you like juice on the weekends. I like the high seed juices. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, listen, I was, okay, this is just a sidebar, but I was going through the car wash the other day. Yeah. This was this week, like oh, Tuesday no. or Wednesday. What'd you do? And the guy was drinking a Capri Sun. And oh. then he's like in his <laughs> 30s. And I was like, hey. you know what? Yeah. Why don't they make Capri Suns for adults? That's true. I would drink Capri Sun. That would be the juice I'd go for. I like Capri Suns. Yep. Yeah. And the hot new product is a tiny Philip Morris product called Zen. It's an oral mouth pouch that contains nicotine powder and flavorings like mint, coffee, and citrus. The pouches are fastest growing segment of the tobacco industry. So it's like some of those that were big years ago, like the tobacco guys will put a little yes. pinch between their chicken gum. It, it, and, it's, it's a little uh, pouch. It's all contained into a pouch. So it has nicotine powder. Yeah, so it has nicotine. Wow. It's okay. that, it has the addictive uh, uh, what is that called? Yeah. Addictive what? Yeah. I don't know. Addictive. Yeah. Uh, uh, think of the word. About? Think of the word. What word are you talking about? I can't think of it. I'm just going to move on. Yeah. I can't think about it. But it's called Zen. Z-I-N. Yeah. Zen. Z-Y-N. You've probably seen the gas station. I haven't seen them yet. You haven't? Hmm. I've seen them. Okay. But I've never seen anybody use one to be I like, hey, what's that? I have to keep an eye out for what's that. What's that? I don't think I'll be trying one. No, I've just never seen one before. Mm-mm. No, and then here's something to think about. Okay. Last night, a friend told me she may not be a 10 on the beach, but she's definitely a solid 8 at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what that's Oh, funny. yeah. Because I've seen, yeah. Oh, at yeah. Walmart. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't have much self-confidence, but I do when I go to Walmart. You feel much better about yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep, it's 614. Good mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant, WQSB. But uh, a couple of things. Oh, by the way, we got some uh, free movie tickets. About 10 minutes, your chance to win those. Uh, we didn't get to the story yesterday, but uh, I was going to ask you, have you ever had a pair of Crocs? I have about five pairs of Crocs, yeah. Do you like Crocs? I don't really like the way they look. I think they're ugly, mm-hmm. but they're convenient. Do they like, feel good? Oh, yeah. They feel, they're feel they comfortable, and they're good to go in the mailbox then. Because hmm. uh, there's some new Crocs coming out, and I, I was confused. Because most of them, I say, they're kind of slick on the bottom, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Have they changed them? Are they more for outdoors now? I don't know. What's the story? The new ones that Bush Light is teaming up with Crocs, they have what they're calling all-terrain sandals oh. and all-terrain clogs. Uh, they're giving away free pairs of shoes while these last. You have to go to their website, uh, campoutforyourcrocs.com. You can send a photo of yourselves camping in May this month, just you camping. Then they're going to be uh, giving away free, co- uh, free Crocs for uh, just... Uh, I guess it doesn't say how many. They say limited amount of Crocs. 
So if you look at them, they look pretty cool. Yeah. It's got the Bush logo on there. Yeah. And they're calling them all terrain clogs and uh, sandals. So I was curious, have they, do they have special kinds of Crocs? Yeah, they're going to have to be a little bit more grippy. Hmm. I noticed in the hospital when uh, Reagan had surgery recently that a lot of the nurses wear those. Mm-hmm. I guess they're easy to put on. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah, they, are, they okay. really are comfortable. Yeah. I, I know they're ugly, but... Like, my mom hates them. She's uh, like, don't ever wear them. No. Don't let them leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> but they're so comfortable. Okay. Hey, here's another story. A feel-good story. I love this story. You know, Oklahoma and some of the states have really been hit hard with the tornadoes lately. Yeah. But here's a feel-good story. A little boy, uh, we always do feel-good stories. Sometimes we do them late in the show. But, it, you know, one comes in like this, I think we need to go ahead and tell you about it. Because this is amazing. An Oklahoma couple, they were saved by their nine-year-old old son a tornado threw their vehicle into trees now his name is branson branson baker he managed to get out of the truck after it was uh, this happened he ran over a mile in the dark to get help from a neighbor to help mm-hmm. his mom and dad they couldn't get out and they were injured now they say the only way he found his way back was with lightning strikes that lit the road up oh my and he God. could see where he was and how to stay on the road he said he ran as fast as he could hard as he could he made a mile in 10 minutes oh my god yeah the boy's Uncle said his parents are both suffering extensive injuries and recovering, but they're gonna be. Looks like they're gonna be okay. The family and friends have raised over ten thousand for their medical expenses. They're saying the fact that he acted so quickly and got the paramedics there to help them as quick as they could probably saved their lives. How was he nine? Nine years old. He ran a mile, over a mile, in the dark, in the middle of a storm. In and 10 only, minutes. In 10 minutes, the only way he could see was when the lightning would pop, he could see the road. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. That is a good yeah. sign. That's a hero right That there. is a hero. That's good stuff. It's 627. Mary and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Totally serious. Uh, the emojis, some of the emojis are annoying enough, and now some of the emojis have sound no. to go with them. Yeah. If you have a Google phone, have you ever, you ever had a Google phone? No. Uh, I've always it, had an iPhone. Okay. If you have a Google phone, you may soon have the option to send an audio emoji. Hmm. Now, there are six emojis available so far, um, according to this story. It says the clapping, the laughing, the party emoji, the crying emoji, the drum, and, of course, the poop will have sound with it. Oh, my God. Yes. And you guessed it. If you're guessing what would the poop sound like, it's going to sound like somebody passing gas. Yeah. It's going to yeah. sound like you imagine it yeah. would sound. The crying emoji gives you a trombone noise like, I guess, wow, wow, wow. Okay. That's better than crying. Yes. The drum gives you the classic uh, like this. Oh, I was going to do it myself. Oh, go ahead. But um, That's uncanny. It's like I was I know. listening to it all over again. I know. But um, Wow. I know. Compared to. Same thing. You're good. I know. Yeah. But why do we need, you, do we need sound emojis? Um, I always have my sound turned off on my phone, uh-huh. especially at work. And I would be super annoyed to get a sound emoji at work or at church. Does that mean if when you, like, say you send me a message yeah. and I look at it, I click on it and open it, I'm going to hear the sound whether I want to or not? I guess so. <laughs> but not if you put it on silent, maybe. But if you leave your sound up, if, yeah. if any of these six emojis are in it, you're going to get the sound of all of them. Now, we're talking about an iPhone putting it on silent. Yeah. We don't know what Google phones do when you put it on silent. They may, not, they may play sound. In some cases, like if it's somebody important, you can tell them to override silence mm-hmm. if it's if they call or they text knowing it's an important message. Right. So some of these, if the wrong person sends it to you in the meeting, it's going to pop up and there it is. The poop. What if they send you all six, like when they send you the clap, the laugh, the party, the crying, the drum, and the poop? Oh. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Ever wonder how your favorite entertainers and athletes made it from childhood to the spotlight? Join me, Nashville-based entertainment reporter Jennifer Vickery-Smith, as I chat with moms of entertainers and entertaining moms on my hit podcast, Got It From My Mama. You'll hear delightful conversations with moms of everyone from the Jonas Brothers, Luke Bryan, 
Kelsey Ballerini, Steph Curry, Travis Kelsey, and so many more, sharing the journey from a perspective only a mama can share. New episodes weekly as we share the best conversations of family, faith, and fame on the Got It From My Mama podcast. That be a people a are going to be abusing text these. Message, yeah, this is going to get annoying fast. Yeah, it will. I hope this doesn't come to iPhones. I'm okay if it doesn't. <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't want it. There's a lot of other sounds I can look on there that I don't want to hear what they would sound like. Like what? Eggplant. I have no idea what it would sound like, <laughs> but people send it a lot. I don't know why. Oh, people are sending you eggplants? I don't know. Oh. And the peach. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Who are you texting? You. <laughs> no. Not me. No. <laughs> the boss. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. I've just been called for a meeting. You know what the peach is? No. It's a butt. No. Yes. So if you put the peach and the poop together, you got the combo. I mean, yeah. Wow. But it's supposed to be like a cute little butt, not the poop butt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Even the cute one have two too. So yeah, it's it's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen. True, yeah. Nobody's perfect. No. Yeah, you know, it's 640. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. WQSB, Morgan Wallen, and Ernest and Cowgirls. You know, I think we have a competition. On uh, how many people can get either Morgan Wallen or Luke Holmes to sing the song with them? Oh. Because uh, I think they know. Yeah. If you get either one of them on there, you're going to have a hit song. It's going to be a hit. Like there's Ernest. Ernest singing with Morgan Wallen. Mm -hmm. Cowgirls, it's going to be a hit song. Yep. Um, I think they say, Morgan, you can sing with us as long as you don't throw a chair. <laughs> yeah. Just leave the chairs where they are. Yep. Uh, phone's blowing up. I don't know why my buddy Dane Dalkey's sending me a, a hot dog emoji with, that's weird, with a thumbs down. Oh. Okay. That's not good. Okay, that's not good? No. Okay, I didn't know. No. You Dana's just, trying to work here. You just need to quit working with the emojis. Yeah. <laughs> People, gonna... please stop sending him emojis. Yeah, please, because I'm going to talk about it if you send me one. So. <laughs> All right, it's time for Holly's Pile of Stories or whatever. We're talking about another show canceled, uh, Marvel Films, and Shaquille O'Neal is doing what to his toenails? You've got some good stuff this morning. So I do. Tell us about it. So less than two months after the season two finale, Quantum Leap has been canceled. NBC has axed his sci-fi series after just two seasons. I can say I wasn't a fan of what's like one episode. I like the old Quantum Leap from years ago. Mm -hmm. That was good. This one I just didn't yeah. get into it. Did you watch any no. of it? Mm -mm. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. And you know how Stanley likes to make a cameo appearance in the Marvel films he was mm -hmm. involved with. He was always like in every movie until he died, of course. Yep. At least one one time. Yep. He was always like the bus driver He's or all, the uh, yeah, something, the, the neighbor or. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, now Marvel has struck a deal with an AI company that will allow Stan Lee to continue popping up in at least one scene in every Marvel movie from now on. No, don't do that. Yep. That's weird. Yep. Because he's dead. Well, that yep. might be weird when you yeah, see. Yeah, it's weird. Knowing he's dead and knowing he didn't film this scene before he died. Yeah, and what you're seeing no. is completely fake. Yes. It's weird. I would say no to that. Mm hmm I like the Marvel stuff, but don't mess it up with this. I mean, he's gone. Yeah. So why bring just, him back? Just stop. Stop doing that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what about Shaquille? So Shaquille O'Neal revealed during an episode of his podcast that he spends $1,000 on pedicures with sparkles and designs on his toenails. No. Yes. He claimed that his feet look ugly, and so he likes to paint them to pretty them up. <laughs> yep. I wonder if Dane Docky does that. That's possible. I've never think? seen anyone with the shoes off. I don't know. Well, after the hot dog emoji, send in the nail painting emoji. <laughs> <laughs> there is one. Finger oh, there nail is. painting. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Why would Shaquille do this? I know he says his feet are ugly, but would that make them pretty? <sighs> um, it makes me feel pretty. Okay. So. But you're not Shaquille O'Neal. No, I'm not a six foot. He's seven Ten, foot. Seven he's, foot, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. over like seven four or seven. Oh my gosh. Thirty or something. Hey Siri. Yeah. How tall is Shaquille O'Neal? Seven foot one. Seven foot one. Yeah. Seven with painted foot toenails one. makes him seven two. It, well, glitter. With glitter. Yeah. That is weird. Mm -hmm. Now when I watch him do like the NBA pregame stuff, I'm gonna 
No, okay. his toes are painted no, the, up under, under that table. Mm -hmm. He's got painted toenails. Mm -hmm. And not just any painted, but sparkles and designs. Yep. Wow. He likes to feel pretty. You know when Charles Barkley hears this, he's going to tear him up. Yeah. On the NBA. Yeah. What do you think his co-hosts are going to say? Just like Charles Barkley. I mean, yeah. He's going to rip him apart. Yeah. He's going to have fun with this story. Is that his only co-host? No, there's four of them. Yeah. I forget the, the other yeah. ones. Oh, they're going to have fun with this. Oh, yeah. He's probably going to pull his big old foot out and put it up on the table and show him. Can you imagine sitting down and having to or pedicure Shaquille O'Neal's foot? It'd be like doing a whole baby. Yeah. If It'd be like the size of a baby. Because we're talking, I'm, does it say how big his feet are? Yeah. That's Siri. Yeah. Oh, okay. As if she knows Hey, Siri. Yeah. What size shoe does Shaquille O'Neal wear? 22. Whoa. A size 22, 22 shoe. 22? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. It's like a 10-pound baby. You imagine the, the manicurist. You, know, so you, you put foot here. Uh -huh. Then he puts it up there, and it's size 22. The table falls over. Yeah. Whatever. How do they even fit in the little foot basin? <laughs> I don't know. I had to bring a wash tub in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet he has, he's got the money. He, he does oh, this yeah. at home. You think so? Oh, yeah. He I does would, it at home without a doubt. I would think he'd go to a professional. Do you? Get the whole works, get the massage and the, uh, the, the foot bath and the whole thing. But with the money that he has, he yeah. can bring the massage therapist into his home. Possibly. Yeah. He's not getting glitter out in public. I don't know him. He don't care. No, he don't care. Would you say anything to him? Nope. He's seven foot one. Nope. He would bonk you on the head. Just bonk. Yep. Just take his hand and just drew it like a cartoon. I bet Dane Docky wouldn't send him a hot dog emoji. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Mm -mm. I've got his number in my Rolodex, too. Oh, so you, you do? Are, probably. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. We'll look. Shaquille O'Neal. I'll go yeah. look in the S's. We'll find it. All right. 654 birthdays are next. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant, WQSB. WQSB Jelly Roll, Need a Favor, 721 with Barry and Holly. Congratulations to Amanda Lewis, our listener of the day. Amanda, thank you so much for listening to QSB. Going to be saluting you all morning long, and you put her picture up on her Facebook page. And tomorrow, when we have our listener of the week, you're now qualified to win a QSB Morning Show T-shirt. That's right. Yeah, if you want to be the listener of the day tomorrow, it's simple. Now, coming up around uh, 10 o'clock or so, we'll be putting our podcast up. Uh, we do it every day after the show is over. It's the show from today. We'll be to, we'll take it and take the commercials and the music out. Then you can go in there and listen to it and tell us something you like, and just comment on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. and that qualifies you. And thank you to our, our podcast sponsors, by the way. Yeah, it's that easy. So thank you to Yappy Hour and Alan's Lock and Key. Yep, so thank you very much. For If you want to check out the podcast, many ways you can find it. It's on our website. You can click on our Facebook page. There's a link there. You can go to Spotify. So just check out the podcast and appreciate you listening to it. Yeah. Yep, all right, food time this morning. Get in my belly. Come on. Rain and taco. Well, it's not a taco. I'm at KFC, but it's not really a food. It's a perfume. Mm -mm. Would you say? What? Would you say perfume or cologne? Uh, it's called a perfume. I don't know. Uh, it's in England only. They may do this in the U.S. They debuted a new barbecue scented perfume. Oh no! It's named Number Eleven. Is it Eau de Barbecue? Eau de Barbecue. Eau de Barbecue. The perfume appears in a. It's a black bottle. Red, black, and red stripe, and it's sold for fourteen dollars. They describe it as a woody, earthy foundation that promises to make your mouth water for the taste of barbecue. Mm. They're celebrating a new menu item only in the UK. It's the ultimate barbecue burger, but it's not a burger with hamburger meat. It uh, has original recipe chicken, crispy onions, sweet tangy, smoky barbecue sauce, and there's now barbecue perfume or cologne. Mm. Your choice. Would you ever wear that? Nope. I bet it would smell good. I love the smell of barbecue. I mean, it's cheap, and I like the way local Joe's smells when I drive oh, downtown. Oh, man, that smells so good. You just yeah. drive by, it just makes you want to roll in there and grab you some barbecue. I know it. So yeah. I'd, li I'd love to smell this one and see what it smells I'd like. like. I would like to see it, but I would be very skeptical. It may not be here until next year, uh, so we'll see. Okay, well, yeah. we'll see. So what else you got? Tahine Sorbet. 
They have these in both lime and mango flavors. Only select stores will get these available across the U.S. Hmm. They These have a chili lime base, oh. and then there's a lime-flavored sorbet with tahini and a mango-flavored sub- sorbet with tahini. So sorbet like, like ice cream. Yeah, basically. well, it is. It's kind of like ice cream, but it's yeah. dairy-free. Gotcha. So uh, a mango, but the, the tahini, I don't know. If I want spices like that in my ice cream, mm. would you give it a shot? <sighs> No. They're only in select stores across the U.S. I mean, if we could get our hands on one for a 10 out of 10. We should try one. We should try one. We will look for that. Yeah. yeah you can read more details on our Facebook page at 724. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. WQSB Tyler Hubbard back then right now at 733 with Barry and Holly. Gorgeous day today. Sunshine, blue skies, 87. Hey, uh, coming up in a few minutes, going to play the future hit. The new Brothers Osborne song, Break Mine. We're spotlighting that all this week. And then Monday, we have a new song from Little Big Town. And Jennifer Nettles of uh, Sugarland's on there with them. Oh. Remember the uh, Phil Collins song, uh, Take Me Home? Yeah. They've redone it. Oh, that'll it's, be good. Uh, it is good, too. That'll be good. Yep, that's a brand new song. We'll be spotlighting that song all next week, starting on Monday here on QSB. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll give you a chance to qualify your child for a one-week overnight stay at Camp Chalaki on Lake Gunnersville. And before 9 o'clock, we'll play Secret Sound again next hour. No winner this hour. It's up to $225. We'll play again next hour. Plus, we'll have a more movie tickets to uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and Spring Carnival tickets. So many ways to win coming up over the next hour or so. Come on, man. Mornings, come on, man. Story, imagine walking to the hospital and uh, you have a letter that says you're dead. What? A letter. You got a letter saying you died. Oh. Yeah, you're not dead because you have, you're alive and you have the letter. So she, uh, her name is Susan, Susan Johnson. This happened in England. She walked in oh, and she walked in for a scan and uh, the letter said you have a scan schedule. But the woman at the desk said, huh, okay. Uh, it says here you died four months ago. What? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my God. How would you handle that? Okay, I, you're standing right there. And the woman looks at you and said, oh, you died four months ago. I'd be like, well, no, I'm right here. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah, come over here and just touch me. Oh, my gosh. That's dump, so weird. Dump me. Hospitals billing is weird. Yeah. Fortunately, the error was quickly fixed after they had to call make a couple of phone calls. And you imagine that phone call. Uh, yes, uh, it says here that uh, Susan Johnson passed away four year, months ago, but she is standing right here. Yeah. She's right in front of me. <laughs> yep, it's the real Susan Johnson. I checked the ID and everything. I touched her and she's alive. Yeah. She's okay. Yeah. But it says here she died. Hmm. Sometimes people's paperwork, they're going to say, well, I'm sorry if it says she's dead, then she's dead. We can't fix it. I wonder how she died. I don't know. If like, I, yeah, you I, know, like I, I, I don't want to ask her. Well, I would. I'd ask her, how'd you die? Did you tell me how I died? Yeah. Was it suddenly? Was it painful? Was it a slow, grueling death? What happened? Was I alone? <laughs> oh, the details here. Yeah. yeah. Now, many times you get details on how it's going to happen. No, you don't. But yeah. Susan could. Yeah. Luckily, they fixed it, though. Oh. Well, I would okay. hope so. I mean. she's standing there alive. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the one behind the desk saying, nope, you're dead. Right here. says in my computer, you're dead. Oh, my gosh. we got to go with the give me. You're dead. That would scare me. But have a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. So, so you're dead, but have a good day. No. Yeah. Bye-bye I'm, now. I'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. We've got to fix this now. I'd be scared. Like I would, Maybe too. she knows something you don't know. I know. Yeah. Who seven, knows? Yeah, 736. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Here on Alabama's country giant, WQSB. Allen's Lock and Key is there when you need them most, no matter the circumstance. They offer commercial, residential, and up to 95% of automotive vehicles for locksmith and key services. A veteran-owned company founded on Christian values. They can travel and serve or need it. You can swing by 2215 West Megan Boulevard in Gadsden or take advantage of their mobile service. When you need them, give them a call. 256-547-8100. That's Allen's Lock and Key. 256-547-8100. No matter the animal, your pet is a member of your family and they should be treated as such. With the IP Hour Pet Resort Groom and Board, your pet will have a restful and safe boarding experience with indoor and outdoor area. Let our professionals pamper your pet with our grooming services to make them look their very best. 
and make them feel right at home. Located on Alabama Highway 75 in Horton, it's always Yappy Hour, open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 4.30. Yappy Hour Pet Resort Groom and Board, 256-458-4650. Time for Holly's Knowledge Nuggets, things you need to know whether you know it or not. What is going on today? 33% of children say that they have never eaten a mushroom and they never will. They don't know what they're missing out on. I had two, the two kids. Oh, yeah. One loved mushrooms. One would not touch one. Let me guess. Reagan loves yep, mushrooms. that's what I was going to guess. If you ever go out to eat, she loves stuffed mushrooms. Oh, yeah. But what about you? You oh, have yeah. two children. I have two children. One of my favorite foods is mushrooms, yeah. and I never get to eat it. Neither one likes mushrooms? Neither one of them. Have they ever tried a mushroom? No. Not that you know of? Not that I know of. Now, Harlow's a little bit more, my older one is a little bit more adventurous. Mm -hmm. So, but my six-year-old, no, no. No. Never? No, never. Never. She's part of that 33%. Okay, well, I get it. Yeah. And then a recent, wait, do you like mushrooms? I like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They really don't have much taste to me. I can't. Oh, they do to me. But I like when they're the stuffed mushrooms, and I like the deep fried, you know, the, the appetizers. Yeah. Those are good. Where did we go that had the hand breaded fried mushrooms was it um, jefferson's I, I think it was i think it was jefferson's there's some good fried, mu- fried mushrooms in this area yeah holly recommend yeah, yep. a recent sleep study says that if you're having trouble sleeping you should try wearing sunglasses two hours before bedtime that's crazy who does that who's going to sit in their house watching tv with their sunglasses on? oh my gosh you must really think you're cool if you put on sunglasses. Who was like, you know what? I bet yeah. if we put on sunglasses, people would sleep better. No. No. I'm not trying that. How weird would that? I don't know. Drop into somebody's house or over there on the couch with sunglasses on. Here's a question. Yeah. How long does it take you to fall asleep once you lay down? Depends on how tired I am. Average day, not very long. Yeah. Average day. Because you get up at 3 in the morning. You're tired by the time because I don't I don't take naps. Oh yeah. In the afternoon. So I'm ready to go to bed. I take a little nappy naps. Okay. So how long does it take you? Um, you toss and turn? So gone? I will be honest with you and this is being like for real honest. Yeah. It depends on my stress level. Hmm. If my stress level is high, it yeah. takes me longer to go to sleep. It makes sense. But if my stress level is low, I'm sleeping 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You're going. You're out. Mm-hmm. With, with or without sunglasses. With or without sunglasses. No need yeah. to wear them. Gotcha. The majority of parents admit to playing their kids' video <laughs> games when their children are not in the house. Yep. Yep. That's me. Yep, 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 yep. Hey. I tear that Mario Kart up. Yes, we paid for it. Might as well play it. Yep. Because <laughs> you never can play it when they're at home. No. They won't let you in we're, in we're near it. I know. My yeah. kids have those. Um, they have one of those VR headsets. Oh, yeah. And you can watch, like, concerts on those. No. Yeah, you can watch, like, full concerts. I bet that is cool. I bet it is, too. In festivals and stuff, yeah. you can watch anything that's 3D. Or not 3D, but, yeah. like, uh, panoramic view. Yeah. And I I never get to do. I never get to watch uh, it. They're fun. Games mm-hmm. are fun. Yeah, I know. Love them. Yeah, it's 7.52. Mary and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Country music news. Well, I, I, this is before your time, but The Fall Guy, there was a TV show back in the 80s, I guess the 90s. Lee Majors starred in it. And the new movie coming out, I guess it's this weekend with Ryan Gosling. It's uh, loosely based on The Fall Guy TV show. Mm-hmm. But a Ryan Gosling, uh, the movie is coming out. And there's something extra. Blake Shelton has recorded a song for the soundtrack. Ooh. The original theme song they used was sung by Lee Majors, the star. And Blake Shelton has taken that song. It's called unknown stuntman that won't be part of the film itself but as you're sitting there and the film is going off the credits they're going to play it then so they're going to play unknown stuntman blake said it was an honor to sing the song that he grew up uh, they watching the tv show that lee major starred in so when you go see the movie by the way the movie is getting great reviews oh is it's it? got ron gosling and uh emily blunt mm-hmm. it's supposed to be like the big action movie of the summer oh so it opens up good. so when you watch the movie stick around for the credits and you can hear blake shelton yeah yeah sing the unknown sun man well luke combs is performed to record-breaking crowds during the first three weekends of his getting up and getting old stadium tour he achieved the highest single night and two night attendance at milwaukee's american family field he also had the highest two night attendance at buffalo's highmark stadium wow. plus i know the highest selling and highest grossing concert at pa's beaver stadium you know that's cool because you've had some major concerts in all three 
through these stadiums, and he's breaking records yeah. with his concert. Yeah. I'd love to see him in concert. Never have I seen Luke Combs. I'd love to, though. Yeah, the weekend looking good overall. We'll talk about that. A lot of stuff happening this weekend, and something special is happening. We have a whole room full of folks here. Uh, we, have, we brought the podcast to the podcast of sorts. <laughs> uh, Percy and Face here with us. We'll be talking to them. And Audrey. Audrey uh, Williams with the uh, Albertville Museum. Hello, Audrey. How are hey, you? Hey, good morning. Doing great. How are y'all doing? Good. So how did you get stuck with these two guys? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's kind of a weird coincidence, but it's been fun. Uh, so these guys know more about Warm than anybody I know, um, besides probably uh, Ray's family and the warm yeah. members. But, um, yeah, that's how I got connected. But they know more about music, period, than period. anybody I know. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They yeah. do. Uh, let's talk about Warm, which with a, with an M here. Now, there's uh, people from this area know who we're talking about. If you're not from this yes. area, well, y'all pro- you probably still know them anyway. Right. They were a pretty big deal from what I yes. heard. I didn't know. I mean, I was that was before my time. I was, you know, not born until 82. But, yeah. um Everybody that comes into the museum talks about this band, and if you don't know, uh, Ray Honey is Tracy Honey's brother that passed away, so he was part of this band, and um, so we're doing a little dedication, our museum, I don't know if you drove by recently, but we've got that brand new garage door, so mm-hmm. it will roll up Saturday night at 7 o'clock, so the streets are going to be shut down right there in front of the museum on mm-hmm. 75, and um, the war members that are still around are coming back, and Tracy Honey's going to play with them, so... So it's going to be a really fun event. It's a dedication to the Ray Honey Music Hall at the museum. So, And it's all free. It's all free. Yeah. That's right. Just bring your lawn chairs. Uh, we're going to have T-shirts and hats and stickers for sale, too. So... Well, let's talk about how big a event this is. Uh, Mike, person who ever wants to go first, but uh, this is a big deal because you guys are like huge fans of the, of the Worm, and it goes yeah. back to like late '60s when they first. Yeah, they started in '69. That's how how long ago, and uh, they've uh, been recorded. They were signed with Capricorn Records. Uh, they've toured with the likes of Leonard Skinner, Charlie Daniels. Um, I mean, Greg Allman actually wanted Ray Honey to play with them. Mm-hmm. Um, they've they've not just opened for a bunch of great acts, but a bunch of great acts actually opened for Warm. Mm-hmm. That's how big they were back in the day. So, yeah, we're really excited for the event, and uh, we'll get to listen to them dust the mothballs off, if you will, and uh, and go for it. Something we'll talk about later at some point. You're kicking around about having like a Marshall County music hall of fame down the road somewhere along the yeah, way we'd, we'd love to see that happen and i would uh, g- guess that they'd be one of the first to yeah, be exactly yeah now let's go over the members now who will be there saturday night so, so saturday night will be mike bruce who is an original member mm-hmm. so warm stood for wayne allen ray and mike gotcha so mike is the m and warm um Mike will be there. Lannis Morrison will be there. Um, he is one of the earliest members. And then Mark Thompson, who used to play with them, with Mike Bruce, uh, with the Hillbilly Romeos, will be there. And then Tracy. Our mayor can shred a guitar. He's good. He no, he's he really very, is. very good. And to play the part of... It's going to take Tracy and Mark to be able to fill Ray Honey's uh, music sheet. Exactly. And Mike talked about Mark Thompson. He's playing with them and he's got a band called Hard on the Chickens Yeah, and they'll be playing Friday night at Main Channel in oh. Aberville and a little birdie told us that there may be a couple of special guests coming with him. Okay. Mm. Will those guests also be at Mayor Honey's house practicing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, just curious. <laughs> this all this was new to me. I've, I'm a generation removed from this. I never gotcha. heard these guys in their prime. Right. But thanks to Mark Thompson letting us have their music, I listen to it all the time, and it, it just it blew me away the first time that I heard their music. So who would you compare them to from from hearing their music? Really, it's hard. W- Face and I have talked about this. They really kind of had their own sound. They had a lot of heavy blues influences. They love Paul Rogers, uh, Bad Company. Right. Uh, they even did a, a Neil Young cover. That was one of those bands that was live. They were made for live music, and their live music is just amazing. 
Let me ask you, Audrey. Uh, now people are calling asking what time they can get out there and put their chairs up. Yes. Yeah, so once the streets close down, 5 o'clock, they can come start setting chairs up. So, yeah, we've been asked. I think people are ready. It's going to be a, a great crowd. We're excited. And I think it's, will they, will they have items on display in the museum after this? Yes. Yeah, we will. Um, Yes, we've got merchandise. Yeah, we'll have a guitar signed by all the band members there. Um, we've got Ray's guitar. Uh, Tracy mm-hmm. brought it over, and it's on display right now. If anybody wants to come by today or tomorrow um, and see that, we'll have some posters. So, yeah. Well, that is awesome. So, yeah. give them the details again. It's going to be Saturday okay, night. Okay, Saturday night, 7 to 9. The garage door roll up. The band's going to play. It's right there at the Albertville Museum. If you don't mm-hmm. know where it's at, it's 101 West Main Street, right across from Local Joe's. Everybody knows where the Old Hammer's building was. So, right there Absolutely. across 75. Yep. Well, man, thank y'all for stopping by. Yeah, Percy and Face, good to see y'all again. And I'm sure we'll be making a visit to see y'all sometime in the near future. And be sure and check out their podcast. All right, it's 841. Barry and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. I mentioned this before we go. We had the uh, bee story yesterday about the, uh, the I guess, the beekeeper or the bee specialist. Mm-hmm. You know, the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Dodgers had a baseball game on Tuesday. And they had to call him because before the game started, they had this uh, giant protective netting uh, in front of behind home plate. And bees had attached themselves to the top of it. Oh. He had to come in and remove them. It took about two hours for this to happen. The game was delayed, but he was like a hero. Even They even let him throw out the first pitch. Now, there's even more to the story. Now he's getting his own tops baseball card. Oh my gosh. His own baseball card. Matt Hilton is the guy. He's the hero and he's going to be on other shows like the Today Show. He goes from being just a beekeeper. They said that he drove 45 minutes from his son's t-ball game to remove the bees. He was watching his son play ball. They called him came over and removed the bees. Now he's like a hero. Aw. Removing the bees. That's awesome. And getting his own tops and baseball card. Yeah. Yep. So before we go, we always give you like the uh, quote of the day, special quote, something to think about what you got today. Yep. Before I give you the quote, I just want to give a congratulations one more time to our listener of the day, Amanda Lewis. And thank you to Yappy Hour, Pet Resort, and Allen's Lock and Key for being this week's podcast Sponsor. And you can listen to our podcast. It'll be up and ready to go in about one hour. And if you want to be the tomorrow's listener of the day, you go listen to the podcast, any part of it. Tell us what you like and type it in there on our Facebook page. Then we'll have another listener coming up tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. So quote of the day, what you got? Quote of the day is, oh, yes, the past can hurt, but you can either run from it or learn from it. And that's from The Lion King. Oh, The Lion King. Yes, that's, that's good a stuff. good one. Love it. 855. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Allen's Lock and Key is there when you need them most, no matter the circumstance. They offer commercial, residential, and up to 95% of automotive vehicles for locksmith and key services. A veteran-owned company founded on Christian values. They can travel and serve or need it. You can swing by 2215 West Megan Boulevard in Gadsden or take advantage of their mobile service. When you need them, give them a call. 256-547-8100. That's Allen's Lock and Key. 256-547-8100. No matter the animal, your pet is a member of your family and they should be treated as such. With the IP Hour Pet Resort Groom and Board, your pet will have a restful and safe boarding experience with indoor and outdoor area. Let our professionals pamper your pet with our grooming services to make them look their very best and make them feel right at home. Located on Alabama Highway 75 in Horton, it's always Yappy Hour, open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 4.30. Yappy Hour Pet Resort Groom and Board, 256-458-4650.